mean? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make Akane bop you on the head and shut you up for good! Killing was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Hyoko knowing? That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it was on... It was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long. So the closet shouldn't have been that messy, I think. Then, the killer was close to me during that time? Yeah, they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. It's kind of like, in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Don't you mean, it's always darkest under the lighthouse? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway, the killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, he would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Say whatever you want, even if you didn't ask. Alright, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! <laughs> oh, you shut up. Then, grit your teeth. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Is the killer also included? Among those three or more people? Yeah, that's true, but, uh... Well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. Jeez! You're pretty annoying for noticing something like that! I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done! Which means... Three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? 
Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. You're the one who went on a tangent! Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be alright. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush! As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet! Maybe it's the other way around? Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. No, that's wrong! They just needed to wash off the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. They could have just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? I see! Drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I've seen through it. In theory, What? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. It's true there were drinks in the beach house refrigerator. However, try one bottle drink it wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. It's true there were drinks in the beach house refrigerator. However, try thinking one bottle it wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no, there were only flavored drinks with colored dyes. 
If you use those to wash the, the blood won't come off in your body, they will leave an aromat, especially if you use the lock that alone would break the suspicion. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Allow me to cut through those words! There were water bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Huh? You should have said so sooner. Then... The plastic water bottles were used in place of a shower. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. It seems you've realized who the killer is. See? Just as I thought. Hold on. You know who the killer is? <laughs> is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? Then I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, they'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent! Say something! Hold on, you bastard! You saw her at the diner! You never saw her near the beach house, right? So maybe she really was swimming! No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? After I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? You 
told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. <laughs>